Hey there, NJ, Route22.com here with another cheap wine reviews vlog. It's like, it's like November when I'm filming this. I don't know when it's going up, but it's gonna be like, like 10 degrees soon. So I'm going to wear a down jacket, even though I, this is my trademark, uh, homemade, not store bought uh, tie dye. I'm gonna put a down jacket on right now. I'm, I'm freaking freezing. Anyway, today we have a interesting, I feel like Mr. Rogers again, I swear to God. I feel like Mr. Rogers. It, it's a beautiful day in my wine burhood. It's a beautiful day in my wine. Anyway, I finished bottle one of the uh, Brescia, or Bresci, Brescia, Bre Brescia Silvestra Malbec 2017. You're not gonna see it. Good, I'll try and maybe I'll get a image up. Oh wait, maybe it, it looks like it's focusing. I don't know. I'm, I swear to God, I'm so far behind. Everybody has these like $2 phones that make better videos than this, this like once $2,000 camera set. God damn it. Anyway, this is a Malbec I got at, uh, I forget where I got it. Uh, yeah. Probably shop right. It's like a $15 to $20 bottle of wine at most places. And uh, I got a good deal on it. I forget how much I paid, but it was less than $15. I probably would have never bought this wine if it wasn't for the good deal that my friend Curtis uh, gave me uh, once. That's my, this is my, uh, my watered down version with ice. This is the refreshing, drink fast, not get too messed up uh, version of the drink. And I'm gonna do this uh, stupid uh, obligatory wine tasting. Let me tell you about this wine real quick. It's a, uh, not Argentine, yeah, Argentine, Argentinian wine. And it's uh, made in the stainless steel barrels with no, I mean stainless, stainless steel tanks with no oak barrel or a kind of barrel aging. So there's no none of that taste. And that is pleasing for a lot of people because it has a simpler taste. It's not as, uh, I don't know, textured as they would like you to think. And it got uh, like a 3.5, 3.6 reviews on this new website, or new to me. It's this, uh, Big thing that's taking the uh, the internet uh, minds by storm called Vivino or Vavino, Vivino. I don't know how you say. It. Apparently, 30 million people use this um, app, I think, to share their reviews on wines, and they're all speaking like they know something, but they don't know jack squat. They they're they're claiming they know it tastes like this, that, and the other thing has a finish, that, 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 and you have reviews that are five stars and reviews that are one. So that means that everybody knows nothing and their collective nothingness equals about middle. <laughs> it's so stupid. It, it just basically shows you that, um, I'm gonna check that the mic is working and it's still on, it's still green. Um, it, it shows you that everybody has their own opinion and when you have everybody reviewing something, it's gonna come out to about right down the middle, always. You're never gonna have, even the best wine, if you, if you tell somebody a $5 bottle of wine is worth $100, more, more people are gonna say it's better. If you give them a $100 bottle of wine and tell them it was a $5 wine at 7-Eleven, they're gonna all rate it lower. So it's all individual um, uh, opinion. And I tasted this and drank it before I read any of the stupid reviews. And I immediately knew, based on looking at it, like when I watered it down two or three to one, it was still very thick. And something about that, the coloring of it, makes a big difference to us. Mm. Ah. I'll never pay 15 or $20 a bottle for this. Hopefully I can get another uh, deal on this Silvestra. By the way, I, I don't know if I said the name. It's a Brescia Silvestra Malbec. And I, 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 I was fascinated by it because 
It has a very cool label, and you may or may not be able to see this, because I don't know if my thing is gonna focus. Maybe today, when it's 20 degrees, it'll focus better, but. And they have all sorts of marketing and labeling stuff on only singular vineyards. I don't know what that means, singular vineyards. I mean, uh, it, it sounds like a contradiction. Singular vineyards. Isn't vineyards plural? Shouldn't it be multiple vineyards? Shouldn't it be singular vineyard? I don't know. I, I, I'm getting all bent out of shape. But this is the first live on the air. Um, raw tasting, unwatered down of this uh, this Malbec. And in case you you haven't picked up on it, I actually like this a lot. This is a 13 and a half percent alcohol. Um, Malbec and apparently the 2016 or 2015 was a 14 and a half. I used to say that I had a number in the sand that, that made a difference for me. I am very, I'm not, I'm not ashamed to admit that I think the percentages are no longer relevant uh, because A, I don't believe them. I, I mean, I don't know where these numbers come. How come they're always 0.5 or 0.0? Every now and then you'll see a 0.2 or a 0.7, but most of them are an even number or a 0.5. How? How can they be so perfect? So I don't trust the numbers that, that happen on these, on these bottles. I, mean, I think there's some trickery going on, but I'm gonna taste this Ooh, just like they do in the store. Oh, you want to taste it? Like, you know, just get, hey, if you're gonna give me a taste, give me this much, and I'll tell you it sucks. Bring me another bottle. Um, I'm gonna taste it. I'm not gonna. Yeah, some people, some dopes that I don't even know. They're probably like 22 years old. Don't know shit about anything. They say, oh, it smells like. They, they probably didn't let it breathe. I'm gonna taste it, just on its own. Yeah, it, I've had better wines. Like I said, that 12% saddle bread Pinot Noir had a much better taste. I'm gonna turn the garage light back on. Yeah, wait, there we go. Um, yeah, it has, it has a, has a pungent, I don't wanna say pungent, but strong initial taste and I've also said many times before, I do not, I'm gonna check the mic again, because I don't want this to go up. I lost an entire 20 minute segment uh, a couple weeks ago, because I didn't pay attention. But, um, let me try it again, why not? It's almost Thanksgiving. This will probably publish like a week or two after Thanksgiving, but. It, it, it's, it's very approachable. <laughs> that sounds like a, a, a word from the, uh, or a phrase from the wine reviewer guys. I love this wine. I mean, I'm gonna see if I can get whole cases for cheap. It's really, 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 really a, a, a good tasting wine to us. Our opinion. Other people may not like it, but I'm telling you how, I mean, it, it's important to, when you watch a wine reviewer, this is like 17 or 18 episodes in, you might know what we like and don't like. I don't think I've ever given anything a, a horrible review where I'm like, Ugh, pour this shit down the drain. I don't do that. But there are differences. And, and like I said, with that saddle bread, which I was so reluctant to buy because it was only a, such a low percentage of alcohol, it had the best taste. Out of all the wines I've had, the saddle bread Pinot Noir was the best tasting wine straight up that I've consumed during this wine series. Without a doubt, it was it was for us, for our taste buds, our palate. It was pleasant. It was happy. It was great. Watered down the way I like to drink wine. Dead last. I mean, go figure. I said it was a good wine to bring to dinner, and it's it's like a happy wine. You can drink one bottle and just feel you could knock a knock a grand slam at the at the corporate meeting the next day. Some of the other wines, like that Apothic Inferno, which was close to 16%, or at 16%, uh, had a man, whiskey taste, and it was, oh. I didn't drink the whole two bottles with that one, but, um, and by the way, I stopped doing the two bottle next day review. 
I should probably start it up again, but um, I think my words should have the equal value. I mean, it's not like I'm sitting in a pile of vomit. I haven't vomited in like God knows, uh, I don't know, other than one small bout of food poisoning. It's been like decades. I can't burp either, so that probably my uvula or whatever that valve in the back of my throat is is uh, strong. It's like it's like Arnold Schwarzenegger strong. But anyway, so this this wine, um, I'm not going to give you words or raspberry flavors or pepper hints. It tastes <laughs> almost 99% like all the other wines I've consumed. It tastes like fermented grapes. What people do is they, 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 they sit there and they, they try their hardest to find something, one like, like molecule of difference between these wines. But if you had to give me a quiz and say, what wine are you tasting? I wouldn't be able to tell you. But I would be able to tell you that it's, it's, not, it's not as strong or offensive as some of the, some wines are like a little bit off-putting as they say. And other wines are, are, are pleasant and, and like velvety. It's, I don't want to say velvety, I want to say just pleasant is, is, is a better word. I mean, when, the more adjectives you throw in there, the more confusing it gets. But this um, Silvestra is, is a phenomenal wine to water down because it stays strong. I, like I said, it, 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 you can't even see through it. I think this is three to one. Um, that's so good. It, it's a really, really delicious wine. I'm not going to do the two bottle. I mean, I'm going to finish the two bottles, but I'm not going to tell you about it except in the comments in my blog, uh, njroot22.com. I highly recommend this. You can find it for 15 bucks or under. I highly, highly recommend the the label alone. I mean, I really hope this comes out clear. I think it does, but it's extremely a, a very well designed uh, uh, label, and I I, uh, I recommend this. Uh, I got it for the cheap wine reviews criteria, which is under ten dollars, but. <sighs> You may be paying fifteen or twenty dollars for this. And it's worth every penny, though, if that's where you go. I like it. I'm going. To, you know, what? I might come back after after this half bottle. It's that good. It's it's uh, enjoyable. I might just be shivering and, and enjoying because it's warming my blood. You know. Oh. Plus. One last thing. <laughs> I always do this one last thing, go off on a 10 minute di diet drive, but I'm not. The last uh, week or two, I've been drinking um, the Smirnoff sparked, spikling, Sparkling Seltzer, or whatever it's called, Sparkling Spiked Seltzer, because I drink a whole lot less alcohol. I sometimes drink four cans, five, six, maybe. The max I'll drink is nine, maybe. Once I drank a case of 12 cans and 10 or 11, but I'll drink like six or six six cans, which is only one bottle of wine equivalent in alcohol, 13 percent. Those Smirnoff uh, spiked sparkling seltzers or sparkling spiked seltzers, whatever they're called, they don't hurt your liver as much and you, you, you feel better the next day. Wine has sulfites in it, and if you drink more than a bottle or whatever, do two bottles like me, it's a little bit more of a burden, especially when you're getting, you know, I'm, uh, I'm just a little over teenage years. Um, I think I used to knock the, these seltzers, because the first few seltzers I tried were not for me. I sound like a Barack Obama. Well, yep, they're not for me. And they might not be for you. But as we sit here in America, we're going to come together as a country. 
Anyway, I, 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 I've never tried a, a Barack Obama uh, impersonation, but that, that, that actually was a, I'll look at it later, but it was, it was pretty good. Yep. Anyway, the Smirnoff ones have zero grams of sugar. Zero sugar, one gram of carbs per can. So if you drink 12 cans, which is the equivalent of two bottles of wine, based on my average calculations, you're only getting 12 grams of carbs, which is insane. It would take you, especially if you water it down like I do, it, it took me like four or five hours to drink a case of, of uh, Smirnoff spiked sparkling seltzer. I, I should probably cut this out and put it in another review, but I'm not gonna do it. Um, I'm going to do another secondary review of this Smirnoff because it, it's it's important to know. 12 grams of carbs for two bottles of wine is insane. I mean, the equivalent alcohol of two bottles of wine because I think each bottle of wine is like 20 plus or minus. So you're drinking like 40 grams of carbs and it, it burns off quickly and it's different than eating carbs from bread or, or stuff like that. But it takes a lot longer. Like I think three hours, your plus or minus window. Like if you eat over 50 grams of carbs in three hours or two hours, it, it'll mess with your insulin levels and cause you to gain weight and become hungry again. But the alcohol works very differently. Um, but the Smirnoff spiked seltzers, I, I highly recommend as if you're like a wine drinker and you want to break for a week and you want to mix things up so like because the sulfites I, I really believe the sulfites make my liver hurt because there's like they're processing uh toxins or whatever the uh the smirnoff was more pure and clean and less alcohol so anyway i may come back i may not but i'm going to give the brescia silvestra a major league major league thumbs up even if it's 15 or 20 bucks just buy it it's 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 not it's not your typical uh, uh i don't know what you want to call it uh, a traditional kind of like oak or barrel fermented uh, wine but the fact that it, it, it's so incredibly um pleasant to drink without that that barrel segment of, of the taste. I'm so happy. I'm so happy that these guys get hooked me up to, to these uh, to taste. I, I can't get over it and how, how good it is. Like to be honest, here I go again with another tangent. I would prefer to drink this during the summer because I'm, I'm like frigid cold. It's like it's below freezing. It's in the 20 degree range right now. Um, and my hands are like numb. Like, hello, hello, are you there? No, we're not, we're dying. Anyway, um, plus the ice, the ice drink, the, I'll drink the ice drink in January. I don't care. That's the way I drink. I really like it. I doubt I'm gonna come back for a second one, but Sylvester, do it. If you can find it, right? Have a nice uh, week ahead, mjroot22.com viewer.